Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing good. You're probably thinking who even is this girl at this point? Like I have been like I've been banished. I've been MIA from YouTube for the last couple of weeks. Um I've just been enjoying myself. I really have. It was my birthday back at the end of July and I have just really been enjoying myself. So work has really picked up as well. So I'm just been a bit MIA and I apologise for that, I will do better, I just, I, I always say I wanted my channel to be a vlog channel and I do want that but the people I've been hanging around with lately, it's been last minute things so my camera hasn't always been charged or my friends just aren't like into this, like they just don't want to be like filmed and stuff and so that just makes it like quite awkward for me. Hopefully I can try and get some vlogs up for you soon. I have been missing YouTube so much. I feel so out of the game. I can only apologise. Like, honestly, at this point, you probably are thinking, who is this girl? She's been gone for so long. And I promise this is my comeback. Hopefully. <laughs> no, I have got some kind of, hopefully, some good things planned up in here. So hopefully if they all just kind of, like, come together, then, yeah. It'll be, I'll be back on YouTube. So yeah, I don't know why, I've just been a bit MIA. But if you have missed me, if you've missed some of my videos, then feel free to follow me on Instagram because I'm always updating my Instagram as to where I am, what I'm doing. I do like mini vlog reels and stuff like that. So I'll put my Instagram on screen. Feel free to go check it out. I mean, like I say, you really don't have to, but if you have missed kind of like me popping up on your screen, if you've like missed knowing what I'm up to, then feel free to check me out on Instagram because I'm always very active over there. I would just like to very kindly thank The Essence Vault for sponsoring and gifting me the items for this video. I'm sure you guys have definitely heard of The Essence Vault. I definitely have. They are so well known for their designer inspired perfumes. Um, so when they reached out to me and wanted to collaborate with me, I was so excited. I'm so excited to share with you my opinions what I think they very kindly sent me over three of their fragrances which I'm really excited to tell you about we just get straight on into the video let's get straight on into the video Baby. I was just saying the essence Vault very kindly approached me and had asked if I wanted to try some of their perfumes and do you know what of course like I love perfumes I would never go out and buy perfumes for myself um but when I looked at their prices I once I've reviewed these items if it is all well and good I know where I'll be buying my perfumes from from now on because I refuse to buy myself perfume I just think it's such an expense and I just wait for birthdays and Christmases and stuff like that. So when they reached out to me and was like, did you want to try some of our perfumes? Of course, because when I looked at their prices, they are so affordable, like so affordable. So of course I jumped at the chance of obviously testing and trying these as well. I'm sure you guys are the same. My friends are exactly the same. They all wait till Christmas and birthdays to buy themselves perfumes, not buy themselves, but be gifted perfumes and they'll just pop pop it on a list. That's generally when I think people start to get their top ups. I know that I have bought people perfumes and aftershaves and stuff like that. I will say is the Essence Vault literally cater for all. They have female scents, male scents, they've got home scents, they do like bundles. It is like when I was looking at their website, it's insane like how many scents they have. I'm pretty sure they have like over hundreds of scents as well. It was so hard for me to choose. Like I was like, where do I even start? So, when picking my fragrances, I picked out one which um, I use quite often. That is like my go-to scent. Um, I also have picked up two that I've never actually tried before. So that'll just be like my first reviews on them. So shall, I've kept you like in suspense long enough. Do you want to know what I picked up? Do you want to know what I picked up? Let me show you what I picked up. Okay, so first off, look how beautifully packaged they are. I mean, the bottle is huge 
huge as well like absolutely huge so they were all popped in one of these gorgeous little gift bags so yeah the best thing about essence scent as well is obviously they've very kindly gifted me a 100 mil they also do a 30 mil but they also give you the option to get testers and samples as well if you were looking through their website and you found a perfume that you quite like the sound of instead of forking out for a 100 mil bottle or a 30 mil bottle you can buy a little tester, wear it, see if you like it, and then obviously then go buy the bigger bottle if you feel like it. So that's what I absolutely love. So the first one I've picked up is Essence Fault Fragrance number 42, which is inspired by C, I want to say. Um, my friends rave about this one like all the time. Like there's one of my friends and every time I see her, I'm like, oh my God, you smell insane and like what is it and she's always like it's this one so obviously when i was searching through the website looking at what what kind of fragrances to get because i do want to try new fragrances like like i say i always stick to the same fragrances all the time like all the time can i just say i've just that smells insane like absolutely insane um so yeah, I want to try new fragrances and I think that's the best thing about these being so affordable and especially the fact that you can then order like order samples as well because for for me like I find it a bit of a chore when I have to go into like I don't know like the perfume shop or like John Lewis and you have to sit there and smell loads of scents. I love the fact that they do samples, but this actually smells insane this literally I, I wish there was some like smell vision that i could put through the screen this i think might be one of my new fra like favorites so yeah like i said this is number 42 this is inspired by c i think it's c is i'll i'll pop the names on screen just in case you do want to try them out um but yeah this is what the bottles look like as well they're just so chic I'm really quite fancy and as well they're not like a chunky bottle like I like to carry around perfume in my bag and this would just kind of slot quite nicely at the back and then I can spritz myself that literally smells insane I'm quite glad I've tried this it smells so good okay the next one is inspired by black opium so I wear black opium all the time like that has been my go-to fragrance for as long as I can actually remember like literally I I can't remember a time where I haven't worn it and black opium itself it makes a bit of a dent into your bank so that is why I like I say I always ask for fragrances for Christmas oh my god no that is it oh my god that is incredible i'm wearing it today so i'm just gonna oh my god that is so good i've also just noticed that all of these are udu parfum puff udu parfum i'm not french i know that's a french word and i'm putting to shame my french gcse how i got an a it's actually like a bit concerning but yeah they're all Udu Parfum, don't come for me. If you come for me, don't. They're meant to be a lot more longer lasting than the, the Twala, what is it? Udu Twala, yeah. If my French teachers are watching, they're definitely not, but if they were, they'd be like, what the hell happened? Um, but the perfume is always so much more kind of longer lasting, and I feel like they always kind of like, I guess longer lasting, but they always like keep their smell a lot longer. And I always kind of feel like I can, you know, when you're moving, you kind of like catch a smell. Do you know, like, like a nice, like your perfume smell, and you're like, oh, good. I like, I still smell good. Like, I like to be reassured throughout the day that I still smell good. So knowing that these are obviously Udu Parfums, yeah, I actually hate myself for the fact I can't say it. The fact I know that they're them and they're gonna be longer lasting makes me feel really good. So yeah, that is the, what, um, this is, so this is 82 and this is the one that is inspired by Black Opium and I can, 
I can vouch for that. That smells so good. Honestly, so good. And then the last one they gifted me is 142, 142, uh, which insp is inspired by Promic, Promic, Prom. Why can't I talk today? It's actually like I've got like a blockage. Do you know what I mean? This is inspired by Pomegranate and Noir. So let's have a sniff. Oh, oh my God, that is really luxe. Oh my God, okay, so I've never smelt this before. I've always heard really good things about it. This, I would say, is more of a nighttime smell. Like something you'd wear to a really fancy dinner. You're like, first date vibes, going for a really nice dinner. Meeting the parents, you know what I mean? God, that is stunning, that smell. Oh my God, I can't get over that. This is definitely, okay, let me tell you the scenarios. Okay, this is definitely like first date, meeting the parents, evening, kind of ball gown, kind of smell. Like this smells so luxurious. It is 142 inspired by Pomegranate and Noir. This is um, 82. This is inspired by Black Opium. This is just like my go-to smell like daily. And then 42, this is inspired by C. I would say that this is like, this is quite, this is a stunning smell. This I would say, 142, definitely like an evening smell. I think these two would be like very, I feel like this would be like a day date kind of smell. And this would be like more of a general day to day smell where I would put it on to like go shopping. Do you know what I mean? Really stunning smells. like stunning smells they like i don't know about you but when you're ordering something that isn't typically from the designer itself if it's not from like the high street stores i feel a bit wary of is it gonna last is it not gonna last is it actually going to smell nice honey i can vouch that they smell incredible and they're so affordable, like they're so affordable. What I'll do guys is when I was having a look through their website, I actually found a section where it says like discounts and it gives you like discounts and I guess like offers and things you can get into like bundles and bits like that. So I'll link the link to the discount code section of the website below. I'll also link down below um, the links to the fragrances I got. 10 out of 10 recommend those. I mean, if you can find the scent, your like go-to scent, um, please, like please try it. Even if you get a sample, just to like try it. Like I recommend it so much. Those smells were divine. Like so, they were really, <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm so impressed. I guess that's it for this video. Like I say, I have seen the Essence Vault like all over my social media for like a little while now so when obviously they gave me the option to collaborate with them I jumped at the chance because I always do feel a bit like I feel like I would like to know I would have liked to watch a review I would have liked to seen someone's real opinion on it so yeah here's this video I hope you have enjoyed also thank you to the Essence Vault for sponsoring this video the freight Guys, honestly, I can't believe it. The fragrances are absolutely so I've just noticed my hands. I've got bottomless brunch tomorrow. That is not a vibe, is it? Oops. Oh, well. Um, yeah, like I say, definitely check them out. I'll leave all the links down below. If you have any questions, like, at all, feel free to just pop them into the comments and I'll answer them. If not, DM me on Instagram. I'm a lot more active over there, as you guys know. Um just pop me a dm like I, i'm always happy to answer your dms about absolutely anything and everything thank you so much for watching i feel like i have definitely rambled on an awful lot um thank you again to the essence vault for sponsoring this video and i'll see you soon in a brand new video bye <laughs>